So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a negative in front, the recommendation that I have for you is just to get rid of that negative. And to do that, all we simply can do is just factor out the negative. So therefore, this becomes a t squared plus 3t minus 54. It just makes that, I believe, much easier to go ahead and evaluate this um, because the way that I think about these is when we have t is positive. So I just factor out the negative. Now again, I didn't really change the value of this expression because if you still multiply that negative using distributive property, you would get back your original expression, right? So I'm not really changing it. I'm just factoring it out. Now I need to factor this. I need to decide what two numbers multiply to give me negative 54 and then add to give me positive 3. So in this case, the best thing to be able to do is go ahead and list your factors of 54. Now I see a lot of students are saying, hey, I'm having trouble. I can't identify, you know, I can't figure this one out. Please make sure you guys are listing all of these factors. So you can do 54 times 1. I always list the number times 1 first. And then I do 2. And then I do 2. Does 27 times 2. All right. Um, 3 is going to go into there, let's see, 18. So that would be 20, so 18. 18 times 3. Um, and then we have 7 does not go in there. Uh, we have 6 is 9. Uh-oh, I think I found something, right? Now remember, these two numbers have to multiply to give you negative, right? So that means one of the factors has to be negative. Would you guys agree with me? Yes. And however, though, they add to give you, in this example, a positive 3. So which factor? If two numbers, if, one of them ha if you have two numbers, they multiply to give you a negative. One of them has to be negative. But they add to give you a positive. Should the larger number or the smaller number be negative? Yes, Julie? Smaller number. Smaller number should be negative. So therefore, by making all of my smaller factors, which of these work to give me a 3t? 9 and t. Now remember what we determined last class period was that rather than plugging them into the box, however, that was still important because that's where we're going to be going over today, um, you can just rewrite that in the factor form. OK? You got a presentation today, Mario?